Okay, so in this video I will show you how you can use a VPN on your iPhone. This works also, of course, on an iPad. So first you need to install a VPN, of course. And in this video I will use NordVPN. NordVPN. Because NordVPN is one of the best VPNs you can have. And I have already bought a subscription for that one. So that's why I will show you how to use NordVPN on this iPhone. But what I will show you will work on almost the same on all other VPNs too. So this will help you anyway if you don't have just NordVPN. But after installed NordVPN, just open the app. And first we go into settings here in NordVPN. And as you can see, you need to log in to your account in NordVPN. And uh, then you need to do some settings here. You see CyberSec is an excellent feature in NordVPN that uh, will remove a lot of malware and um, uh, other stuff and also some ads on the webs and so on. So CyberSec is very good to have. But here is uh, the feature you need to turn on and that is auto connect this will always connect you to a vpn no matter what so if you are on mobile network or at home on a wi-fi network or something you should turn this on to always because that means that you will always be connected to this vpn and down here you can see you can add different wi-fi networks to trust the networks if you want but i don't see the point in that because i always want to be protected by a vpn so have always on and no trusted wi-fi networks that's my recommendation so have always on the first time you log in and start a node vpn you need to create a vpn profile for ios and after you have done that uh, it will be here and as you can see i have already created a VPN profile and uh, NordVPN does that for you automatically so you need just need to click OK when uh, when a notification shows up so just click OK when creating a profile and then NordVPN saves it to iOS so now we have done the settings you need to do in NordVPN and uh, if we go to the iPhone settings instead you can see down here when you have created a VPN profile and also have always on in the settings of NordVPN, you will have this checked all the time. The VPN is checked, as you can see, in the settings. And that means that you can't connect to any network whatsoever if you don't are connected to NordVPN. So you need to be connected to NordVPN to be able to use the network. So now, as you can see, I just turned the always on to on. Then it automatically connects to the quick connect. And quick connect means that it connects to the best server available for you. So you don't need to do anything. Just turn on auto connect and you always will be connected. But if you want to add your network to uh, trusted, you can click on manage and add it to trusted and then you get disconnected to your VPN. I will never do that because I want to use a VPN no matter what. But you can also disable auto connect when do the managing thing. So let's say that you don't have auto connect on, then you will have this screen. And as you can see, I talked about quick connect. So when clicking on quick connect, NordVPN will search for the best server available for me and connect to that, as you can see. So now I have a connection to a VPN server, as you can see there. So when that symbol is available, you are connected to a VPN server. If that symbol is not there, then you can't get to any internet at all because you have always connected on in NordVPN. So or if uh, NordVPN somewhat is not connected, then you can't use internet. No internet traffic will be sent through your iPhone. 
And that's great, actually. That's a feature because that means that you are always protected by a VPN. So, once again, as I said, have AutoConnect on always because that means that no VPN will always be connected. So have always on and NordVPN will connect to Quick Connect, as you can see. The best server available all the time. So now we are connected to a VPN. So now when we checking our IP address and so on uh, to see how safe our, our connection is now and so on, I use whoer.net to do that because I think that site is very, very good. You can see my new IP address. This is not my IP address. This is what I get from the quick connect connection in NordVPN. This time when I connected and uh, the new ISP that NordVPN provides. And as you can see, very safe. I have very good anonymity privacy now. As you can see, your disguise 100%. And that is because I use Safari. Safari is the best web browser you can use for your privacy on an iOS device because it doesn't uh, leak your web RTC, for example. It doesn't leak anything, actually. If you use Firefox or Chrome, and both those web browsers leaks web RTC. And that means that your real IP address can actually leak in those web browsers, even with a VPN. So I recommend using Safari because in that browser doesn't leak WebRTC. So it doesn't leak your IP address through WebRTC. Of course, you can add plugins and so on to Firefox. So you can protect Firefox too to not leak your IP address when using WebRTC. You can turn off WebRTC in Firefox and Chrome, but that doesn't work in the mobile versions. I have checked, trust me. I have checked the WebRTC leaking, and even if you turn these settings off in those two browsers, it doesn't work because it leaks your IP address. No matter which VPN or anything, it leaks your IP address. So use Safari if you want to be safe for leaking your IP address. We can also check IP leak. IP leak is another website that sees if you are safe for not leaking your IP address. As you can see, this is my new IP address from NordVPN and uh, no forwarded IP detected. If you are using a proxy, it's transparent proxy. This is very, very safe. And uh, as you can see, your IP address addresses WebRTC detection. If you are now connected to a VPN and you see your ISP IP, then your system is leaking WebRTC request. And that is what I mean. I don't see my ISP's IP address anywhere, so I know that I'm now safe because Safari doesn't leak WebRTC IP address through WebRTC. So that's why I think this is the best way protecting you. And the reason why I want to use a, a VPN is because I want my privacy back. It doesn't have anything to do with if I have something to hide or anything because that's not the point. The point is that we have actually the right to our privacy. We have the right to our privacy and that's what everything is about. You should use a VPN so your ISP, in my case Telia, can't see what you are doing on the internet. If you don't have a VPN, your ISP, your internet provider, can see everything you do, everything you do on the internet. Even if you're using secured web sites and so on, your internet provider can see what you are doing because you are leaking your DNS requests. So your DNS request will always be visible for your internet provider without a VPN. So if you, for example, is on a site that you don't want your internet provider to see what you are doing, they see that you are on that site because you are leaking your DNS requests. And 
even if you say to yourself, I am not doing anything wrong, this is about your privacy. Why should an internet provider or a third party uh, web developer see everything you do on internet? Why should they have the right to do so? They can collect everything you do on the internet and sell to advertisers or whatever. They can sell it to uh, government. They can sell it to a lot of different stuff. So you should definitely use a VPN to get back your privacy. It started with that I switched back from Google to Apple and not using anything Google. Yes, I use YouTube because that's one of my things I do. Uh, it's one of my part-time work is YouTube. So of course I use YouTube and YouTube is owned by Google, but I haven't used anything else from Google. I don't use Google search or anything else anymore. So now it's time to take back the rest of my privacy. Now when Google can't uh, track me and sell my user data or anything, then it's time to take back the rest. So now no one can see what I am doing. So that's the point here. You should use a VPN no matter what. So go check out a VPN don't use a free VPN because they sell your data. So use a professional VPN, something that you have to pay for because these are the only trusted VPNs. And use uh, Google or any other website behind a VPN if you need to use a Google service. Use a VPN, please. And trust me, this doesn't slow down your internet with much because NordVPN in my case have very, very fast servers. You don't feel the difference actually. So, okay, bye.